Welcome to the third tutorial in the Robot Studio Getting Started series. In this tutorial, we will open the project from our previous tutorial. Import a tool and attach it to our robot. We will then create an empty path, set the instruction template and teach instructions to our robot. Finally we will simulate the robot to move along the created path and save our project. Let's get started. Open the project from the File tab. Once the controller status is green, we know that our controller is up and running. Now let's attach a tool to the robot. A tool is a robot studio object that operates on the workpiece of the robot. For example, an arc welding gun, a gripper or other tools. We will import our tool library by clicking on Import Library from the Home tab. There will be various component libraries that will be visible to you which are pre-installed. We will select our equipment from the training objects. Let's select my tool. The tool gets imported to the station and placed at the origin of the world coordinate system, thus hidden inside the robot. When imported, the tool gets added to the layout browser, but will not be attached to the robot. Tool must be attached to a robot to synchronize its movements with the robot. To attach a tool to the robot, you do this from inside the layout browser. Right-click the tool and then click Attach to and select the robot model. Alternatively, tool can also be attached by dragging and dropping it on the robot in the layout browser. In the Update Position dialog box, click Yes. Our tool has been successfully attached to the robot. For achieving correct motions in robot programs, parameters of the tool must be specified in the tool data. Let's create a path for our robot. Click on Path and Targets Browser. Under our controller we can see Path and Procedures. Right-click on it and select Create Path. Before we add any instructions in the path, let's set our instruction template. An instruction template is a predefined set of argument values that can be applied to instructions created. First is the Move instruction. These are fundamental to robot operations and include linear and joint movements. As we intend to program linear movements, we will keep it as MoveL. Next is the speed data which defines the velocity of the robot's movement. We will select this as V500, where 500 is the speed value in millimeters per second, for linear movements or degrees per second for rotational movements. We can also see Vmax, this represents the maximum speed at which the robot can operate safely. Vlin100 is the linear speed setting in millimeters per second, that specifies the speed at which the robot's tool center point will move in a straight line. VROT100 is the rotational speed setting in degrees per second, that specifies the speed at which the robot's joints will rotate. Next is the zone data. This determines how closely the robot follows the program path, or how accurately it stops at the end points. For example, Z0 is a zone data parameter, which specifies that the robot should move without any flyby, meaning it will stop exactly at the end point of its movement while Z100 indicates a larger flyby window, where the robot does not stop precisely at the point but within a 100 mm radius. We will select Fine as the zone data which means the robot will make a precise stop at the target point. This is often used for operations that require high accuracy. Next is the tool, which confirms that our imported and attached tool, is selected. And then we have the work object which provides a reference system that is crucial for the accurate placement and manipulation of items by the robot within its workspace. For us it would be work object 0, as we have no other work object defined. Now let's create some instructions. We will use the teach instruction option, that allows users to manually guide the robot to specific positions and orientations, and then record these as part of a program according to the instruction template. We will create our first instruction at the current position of the robot. Let's move our tool to different positions and teach instructions to our robot. We will try to create a small rectangular path. Remember we are using the move and rotate tool to jog the robot tool to different positions. After instructions are added to our path, we will copy our first instruction, 
and paste it to our path end to complete our rectangular path. Now let's move our robot along the path created by right clicking on path and selecting move along path. This is how easy it is to create a path in Robot Studio. Let's conclude this tutorial by saving our project by clicking on the save icon on the left corner. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.